or good morning or wherever you are tuning in from. First, I'd like to uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'd like to thank you for taking the time. And whether you're a student out there, or you're an adult learner, or you're a parent of kids, uh, I guess the reason you tuned in was uh, because you're interested in this thing called learning. Um, accelerated learning, motivational learning, whole brain learning, or whatever they call it nowadays. And basically what I'd like to do for the next 45 minutes is talk to you a bit about your brain, the magnificent power of your brain, and about some simple learning strategies that you can use to produce better quality of results in your life, or your parent to help your kids produce better quality results in their school. All right. And but before I begin, you know, people always ask me this question. They say, you know, you wrote this book, I'm gifted, so are you. And by the way, you know, when I first wrote this title, some people laughed at the title and they said, you shouldn't write this title, no one will buy it. So I said, what title should I write? They said, your title should be, I'm not gifted, please help me. Right? So I said, no, I'm gifted, so are you. So he said, why? I said, because I believe everybody is gifted. And I'm not telling you this from the perspective of someone who is an academic. I'm not telling you this from the perspective of someone who has just read a bunch of books on learning and decided to compile into one book. But I'm telling you from a person who was once a student who couldn't learn, who was a failure, a dropout in school. And the reason is because um, from the time I was in primary school, that is about, I think it's about six or seven years old, I, I, I didn't do well in learning. You know, basically I hated learning, I was totally disinterested. And I was only really interested in doing two things primarily, which is quite common nowadays, you know, playing computer games and watching wrestling on TV and practicing my wrestling moves on my sister, okay? And by that time, it was Hulk Hogan versus, you know, Macho Man Randy Savage, you know? Um, as a result of that, um, I went to school, I didn't pay attention in class. Um, basically, I was terrible in maths, I was terrible in my Chinese language, which is my second language. And I played a lot, fought a lot, and the next thing I knew, in primary three, I found myself being kicked out of school. And not just because I couldn't learn, but because it was a big disruption. Uh, I remember during that time, every time the teacher came to the class, the first word she would say is, Adam, get out, you know, before the lesson even started. And I had this special table for me outside the classroom, and that's where Adam sat. So I got kicked out in primary three, and basically for half a year, I had no school to go to. My mom had to drag me around to all the other primary schools and beg the principals to take me in. And finally, I got into a school, this school called Nian Primary School. And when I, when I went in there, um, I didn't learn my lesson. I still continued to fight, I continued to play, I, you know, I, I made a mess of my whole life. And I didn't really do well for my primary school leaving exam. In Singapore, it's called PSLE, which is like the critical exam in your life, because it determines which secondary school you go to, which determines which junior college you go to. So I didn't do, I didn't do uh, too well, and I, I was actually in between streams. Um, the yeah, express stream and the normal stream. In Singapore, unfortunately, when you go into the normal stream, you're not very normal. Okay, you've got to go to the express stream and consider a normal kid. Normal stream and consider not that bright. And I actually didn't qualify enough to get into the stream which was for normal kids, average kids, which is the express stream. I was almost into the normal or subnormal stream. And as a result of that, my parents actually kind of like begged the principal to put me into the express stream. But because I did not do very well, I did not get into any of my choices. Um, I know where you're from, in Singapore, when uh, you take your primary school leaving examination, you're given a list of choices of your preferred schools to go to. And I didn't get my first choice. You know, my first choice, you know, was Raffles Institution. It was the best school in Singapore. Obviously, I didn't get it. I didn't get my second choice, my third choice, fourth choice. My last choice, I didn't get it. And so when I got my posting uh, slip, and I opened it up, I got a shock of my life because they sent me to school which I didn't choose. Uh, they sent me to a school which my parents had never heard of before. And naturally, they were very upset. It's like, oh, Adam has disappointed the family name and all that, you know. <laughs> so my mom told my dad, and she said, maybe it's okay that Adam goes to a, not, as a good, not such a good school, you know. And he said, why? And she said, because if he goes to a lousy school, he can be the best among the lousers, you know. <laughs> so my mom always was the positive thinker in the family. But when I went to this school, uh, I didn't become the best among the lousiest. I became the lousiest among the lousiest, <laughs> okay, because... Even in school, which was not an elite school, I, I still didn't learn my lesson. I was still fighting, I was still playing. I had no interest in my studies at all. And I know for a lot of parents out there, you find this pretty familiar with your kids. You know, you call them lazy, unmotivated, unachiever. I was everything going to one. And as a result, my parents really panicked because in secondary one, which was the first level, there were 160 students in my cohort. And my ranking was number 10 from the bottom. <laughs> And my results were always between 40% to 55%, and, you know, my Chinese language has got 15 upon 100. My mom had to be dragged to my principal's office by my maths teacher, and my maths teacher would tell my mom, you know, Adam can't even do primary four maths problem. This was in set one, you know. And during those times, it was different. During those times when you didn't study for your primary school exam, you could still pass. But nowadays, it's so much more, uh, so much more competition around that even if you study, you may not even get into a school of your choice. So, um, my parents panic, like any 
school Singaporean they send me for a lot of tuition, 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 tuition. Spent hundreds of dollars on tuition. I had two Chinese students at a math tuition. You know, they came like four or five times a week, and I still failed everything.